And then I realised I could only get that particular DVD from www.medicalwaste.com. David, I think it might be helpful for you to think about coming more often. Perhaps twice a week. Really? Yes. Maybe even three times a week. Well, I, I don't know if I can afford it. I mean, it's 43 quid a session, three times a week. That's £129 a week. Ah, now, you see, that's just a, a blocking process. You can afford it. We can all afford things we really need. Yeah, but I've, I've been thinking about getting a new car. I, I tell you, I'd like one like that new convertible. Someone's parked outside. Ah, that's mine. Is it? <laughs> yes. Lovely, isn't she? But that's my point. I wanted that, so I decided to get it, even if it meant going for higher purchase. How much are the repayments? £129 a week. <laughs> but anyway, stop deflecting, David. Three times a week is essential. So, this is going to be your main reception. And all the utilities are already up and running. Water, phone, electrics, all in. And the builders will clear up everything when they go? Yes. Everything except one chip mug that says BHT plant hire, a stained teaspoon and a lumpy bag of sugar. <laughs> oh, this is fabulous. I tell you, David, this is going to be my dream home. What's that? It's a phone bill. Really? Hmm, must be a mistake. Well, yes. But the number's right, so it must be this phone. God, how much is it? £1,900. <laughs> what? Right, well, you'd better pay it, otherwise we'll get cut off. What? Why should I pay it? Well, <laughs> don't get me wrong, Mr Deronda, but since uh, you have the keys, I assume it's you who's been coming here at 1.17am and phoning French Guyana, sometimes for two hours at a time. <laughs> Who on earth should I want to phone in French Kayana? 0909879, I'd like to drink your hot pee. <laughs> well, so who is doing it? I don't know. Deronda accused me. He accused me of creeping into his cold, empty house and pleasuring myself in the dark. I can't believe he accused you of creeping into his cold, empty house. <laughs> who believes these things anyway? Look at this. 16-year-old virgin wants to tell you about her secret desires. No, 43-year-old waitress wants to earn a bit of extra cash to pay for a hysterectomy. <laughs> yes, and before that, here's 500 other numbers you could call at £25 a minute. They're always the same. Probably. <laughs> it's dangerous. You can get brain hemorrhages from staying on the phone too long, tilting your head to one side. Yes, and presumably with these phone calls, all the blood has already left the head. <laughs> Still, at least tilting your head like that is a good way of keeping the call hands-free. Why do you need two hands-free? Amateur. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was great. Yeah. Yeah, it was. What? Well, the thing is, we've been going out together for three weeks and, well, We've eaten a lot of hors d'oeuvres. Isn't it time now for the entree? And when I say entree, I'm using it in the sense of, like, to enter? <laughs> and we've talked about this. Yeah, I know. Exploring all the planes of the sexual diamond, picking a range of fruits from the tree of sensuality, all that, I'm really into it. But now I want to, like, get my end away? <laughs> yeah. Like, slip you a length. So, like, everything else is okay from the first date? Yeah, kissing, heavy petting, oral pleasure, they're, like, waved through customs at Gatwick. But the wild thing itself has got to stay in quarantine. Like, indefinitely. Hmm. I actually prefer all those other things. Yes, but they don't actually count. Huh? No. All those types of sex followed by the word job. Blow. Hand. Lying under a glass table, watching someone do a big. <laughs> you see, for women,
women, only actual penis vagina action counts. Oh, no. If I went by that rule, I'd be down on sexual conquest by about 30. Yes, and I'd be a virgin. <laughs> Imagine that! At my age! How absurd! Hey, Sean, what do you think counts as sex? Not what David could normally manage. Ha ah, and again, ha. Ah. That's the thing, you see. Women want to downsize the amount of partners they've had. That's why, for them, only penetration counts. Yeah, and men want to increase theirs. Which is why, for them, a friendly telephone conversation with a woman who got the wrong number counts. I mean, I'm 38. Creepy would that be? <laughs> Dean Friedman? What, as in, did you see Lisa? Yes, I saw Lisa. Is that why you're angry? I wasn't angry. Maybe a little. Not even maybe. Must be the weather. Now don't be a baby. <laughs> and you can thank your lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think we are. Oh, wow. Wait on. Why is he on? Oh, it's the committee's idea. Nostalgia nights. Next week, Dory Previn. Oh, we gotta go to that. Dino! Dino! Fantastically naff. Ah, postmodern irony. How it eats away at the foundations of taste and value that underpin our culture. Don't you just love it? Perhaps I should bring my girlfriend. Maybe listening to Dean will, like, get her in the mood. Not like you to need a helping hand. Ah, uh, but this time Ethan's going out with someone who won't let him park his car in... Cadbury Street? <laughs> no. <laughs> Cadbury Street's got triple yellow lines all over it. All I'm asking for is the NCP above Cadbury Street. Perhaps she's a transsexual. Oh, yeah. Hey, like, no! There's nothing about her that is like... like a man. What's her name? Nigella. Mm. Look, I don't need to phone a friend on this one. She's not a man. Absolutely. She's no more a man than I am a virgin. <laughs> So what we could do is lower the top floor, maybe five inches or so. Look, David, I, I'm not sure I want the house anymore. What? Look, this is supposed to be my dream home. How am I meant to relax in my dream home knowing that someone's been crouching sweatily on the phone, rhythmically, you know? <laughs> I mean, under the carpet, there'll probably always be traces of... We haven't put the carpets down yet. Yeah, well, you probably won't need to use any glue. Hold you tight Making your pipe again. I never stopped once I realized how much women love them. Oh, yes, I've always loved pipes. You see? In fact, this is just like one I used to have. <laughs> anyway, just going to the loo. Oh, there's a big queue at the ladies, of course. I'll use the men's. That'll be all right, won't it? <laughs> I don't know, Ethan. Just when she turned there, I thought I saw the merest hint of an Adam's apple. What I actually saw was a man called Adam Sapple. Still, wasn't Dean, like, brilliant? <laughs> yeah, hysterical. Funny peculiar and funny ha-ha. And, and we can thank our lucky stars that we're not as smart as we'd like to think we are. Hi, guys. I saw you really getting into my set back there. What are you, like, my biggest fans? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I guess you want my autograph, huh? To David. How do I do it? To David, the guy who met his hero. <laughs> you know, the guy who met his hero? It's like the standout track on my second album. Of oh, course it is. It's brilliant. It's like my favorite song of all time. Once was a guy who lived on his own. <laughs> he met his hero. Yeah, I knew you'd remember it. So anyway, guys, what do you want to do? Club it? My name's on every guest list in this town. Oh, well, thanks, Dean, but um, I don't think we'd want to take up no, too much I, of your time. Sorry, yeah. Oh, it's okay. I hear you. I can take the hint. You're too shy to ask me to hang out with you. But it's okay. I got all night. And what better way to spend it 
than with my fans. 